All right, so it's day two of uh, working on the Tacoma. Um, today, it's not as nice as yesterday. Uh, it's been raining for a couple hours now, so the floor is pretty drenched. I hope I don't have to get on the floor too too much. Might put some cardboard down or something. But um, I think today I'm gonna try and get the timing belt done. Just getting that off, getting the water pump off, and um, kind of getting it all ready for when the new parts come in. And then tomorrow I'll try and get the heads off and if I have to take it to a machine shop, hopefully they'll be open over the weekend or something, I can take it there. Shouldn't take longer than like an hour for them to machine the heads down, an hour or two maybe. Um, all right, let's get started. Alright, so, so it looks like the timing is off a little bit. Um, the crankshaft pulley is a little, like, when it's at zero where it's supposed to be, um, the two camshaft pulleys are slightly off. Uh, both of them are slightly off. So I think that might also be the reason why we're misfiring and not running that great. So uh, that's something to note. <laughs> Can't believe that. All right, how's it going everybody? This is uh, day three of the Tacoma build. Um, the last couple days, I've gone as far as I possibly could and I kind of got to a stopping point where I couldn't get the, um, the crankshaft pulley off or the camshaft pulleys off. Uh, so I ordered a tool for that and I'm just waiting for it to get here. Uh, unfortunately, the, the stuff that came here uh, through Amazon came in yesterday and it's like the coil packs and the stuff that I don't really need right now. The rest of the stuff will be here tomorrow. So this video is just mostly just to give you kind of an update and tell the story of like how I got the Tacoma and um, what led me to this truck. So originally a couple months back, about five months ago, I got a Jeep Cherokee, 1996 Jeep Cherokee for free off uh, Facebook Marketplace. It just needed like a water pump and the serpentine belt fell off. So I replaced those two things. It ran great. And I drove it around for probably like two and a half months, three months. And then I decided to trade it. And I traded the Jeep Cherokee for 1986. Um, Forerunner, and that's in that last video you guys saw that Forerunner. The whole point of the trading was to get a Tacoma. Thankfully, I found this Tacoma. Somebody wanted to trade, and so yeah, I ended up getting this Tacoma. It's in pretty rough shape, but I just kind of knew that the only way I would get a Tacoma is if I got it in rough shape. The story behind the Tacoma is that the guy's son had it. They had bought it from their grandma or something who owned it for most of its life. They pretty much trashed the truck. The guy was saying that the sun took it off a cliff and that's why the whole front end is all messed up. It needs a, a whole new front clip and bumper and grill and everything. Uh, the body is pretty damaged and the interior is in rough shape. It doesn't really have a key so that's kind of sketchy. I'm having to just like flip the switch with the, with the flathead and turn it on that way. When I got it back from Tracy, that's where I picked it up in Tracy, when I got it back the next day, I went to go get it smogged and it wouldn't pass smog. And the guy had told me like right before, like, yeah, it'll pass smog. And so it didn't pass smog. The smog guys told me that, um, you know, a bunch of stuff is wrong with it. So I went to O'Reilly's, got the codes read and it came out with a few codes. So I looked it up and it was just saying it had a misfire and a couple things were wrong with it. So I started taking everything apart. Really what I found was that a bunch of mud and dirt had gone into the intake manifold. It was just like pretty gross. And so here's the, here's the Tacoma here. So as you can tell, it's in pretty rough shape. It's got this huge dent. They spray painted it this ugly color. Tail lights broken. Needs quite a bit of work. I'll show you the interior here. The interior is okay, um, but this is kind of how I'm starting the car right now is just turning that switch because that one is broken. So right now, this is my key. It doesn't have a radio. Center console's not bolted down. Other than that, 
works pretty good. Let me show you the front here. This is the old front clip. Right behind it is a new one that he gave me, so that's pretty good. Um, so far, like I said, I've gotten it down to this point where I almost have the timing belt off. I just need to get this pulley right here off and these two pulleys off. Um, and then I can start taking off the timing belt and then take off the valve covers and the whole intake manifold. And uh, I'm probably just going to do head gaskets. So yeah, I, I basically ordered uh, all new head gaskets, new head studs, um, valve cover gaskets. I got the whole entire gasket set. Um, I got new coils, spark plug wires, spark plugs, um, a new PVC valve, a uh, new timing belt kit, new water pump. Um, I also ordered a Hanes manual after I took it all apart. And hopefully that'll help me just get the rest of it all apart. I still need to order a few more things. It's been about $500 that I've spent on the truck so far. And I still need to buy oil and air filter and all that stuff. So, yeah, so far it's been pretty easy to take apart. This motor is like super simple to work on. Um, it's just kind of compact. But the good thing is I have that whole front clip off. And it's like a lot easier to do with the front clip off because everything is super accessible. And I can get in there. Unfortunately, the last couple nights of filming, it's been super dark out and uh, i think the last night that i was filming it was raining the whole entire night so i had to keep the camera kind of far away and post it up in one spot which sucks but you know i didn't want to get my camera wet <laughs> and the only other angle that i could think of getting on it, it would have this trash can right in the way and that's just not a great look so yeah i'm hoping to get all these parts in tomorrow i'm going to try and do some more work possibly today if not then um, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. So happy Thanksgiving giving everybody and I'll see you tomorrow For some more work on the Tacoma